given the size of the challenges that we face, we are looking under every rock to see if we can save money. Save money in a smart way, though. Not just to cut, cut for the sake of cutting, but can you cut in a manner that potentially maintains the efficiency and the effectiveness of the fine services which we have. So we've gone into this as a committee with a goal, and the goal is to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of how we deliver services that are currently provided by Parks and Recreation and what's known as DPW. As we went into this, we have a strategy, an open strategy that Mr. Mahalko was asking a question about, and I just want to make sure everybody recognizes this. The overarching strategy is to maintain structural independence of these departments. There will be, if this ordinance is passed and approved, a Parks and Recreation Department. That will exist. There will be a new face to the DPW Department if this ordinance is approved. So there will still be the integrity of two individual departments representing the needs for Parks and Recreation, Public Works, and provide current level of services. We believe that this will enhance job performance and realize operational costs. Now we need to get into the budget issues in terms of what, what are we really talking about in terms of what we're saving. Because that's the question that we've had, and we have quantified it working with the head of finance, Mr. Esposito. This is an eye chart. I'm not going to take you through every chart, but I want to let you know in terms of the level of detail which this analysis has been conducted. We looked at public works, sanitation, budgeted positions, filled positions, requested positions by area, management, staff, skill labor, part time. We totaled it. What did we learn when we did this analysis? From a budget standpoint, public sanitation today has budgeted 29.25 positions. Okay, so we have the cost of 29.25 people within the budget. How many of those positions are filled today? They are filled today, 27 positions. By virtue of this consolidation, this is going to allow us to remove those 2.25 heads, which will produce a direct savings to the township of $158,100. In addition to this hard cut, okay, these are hard cut dollars that I can take to the bank, take them off your, your tax bill. There is requested jobs. DPW is saying, hey, look, we're being stretched. Not only do we want those 2.25, but we want, just so happens, another 2.25. So that equals four and a half heads. By virtue of what we're talking about, we're going to be able to save the 2.25 heads and put the DPW department in a position, skilled labor into a position to allow them to function better in terms of being able to reallocate resources so that during this time of the year when the grass grows at an exponential rate, which it's going to do, we're all going to be cutting long and we can shift people over seamlessly. During the fall, when those beautiful fall down from the trees, and we need to shift labor seamlessly, that can be done. During the winter time, when we encounter the snow removal from the streets, you will now have a skilled labor group, a prize labor group, that will be able to more readily shift the resources. Let me share with you the impact <coughs> of the proposed consolidation. In terms of the pro proposed consolidation, in regards to we are going to take seven full-time and two part-time laborers transfer seven full-time and two part-time laborers, which will eliminate the need for the additional positions, such that we'll recognize the savings of $158,000, and we'll, importantly, in this time, in this environment, avoid layoffs to our municipal workers who work in parks, recreation, and DPW. There is no plan for a layoff of any individual within these departments. The plan is to maintain services, provide the opportunity to leverage the skilled labor which we have, maintain integrity of the recreation and parks group, which we prize in this town and enjoy significant benefit from. Mr. Schleifer, do you have any commentary on this?
No, I, I think we've talked about this uh, enough. And, and basically, I think there was some fear in the community that we're taking. Originally, we had some thoughts about taking the uh, parks and recreation and combining them together. And that's not the case, in case anybody in the room still believes that. We're not laying off any employees. We are simply just taking that labor component, the parks maintenance workers, and shifting them over to DPW and making divisions. Now, there was some talk we were going to add some positions. And in a technical term, the business administrator said, yes, we added positions. We actually just renamed them. Each one of the divisions always had a head. And before it was called crew chief for two of the divisions, I believe it was sanitation and roads. And now we're calling them supervisors. But we haven't added any employees in this program. It's, ex it's exactly the same amount of employees. We're just shifting uh, parks maintenance workers into a new division in, under the DPW. That's all it is. And it's going to help us so we don't have to hire new people. Basically, right now, we're at the bottom in DPW. When I say, run, you know, I referred to at the last public meeting, we were running lean and mean. And the mean part's the part we don't want. We won't we weren't be able to perform uh, and get the work done on time. I think this plan is the best plan that we can come up with so we don't have to hire new employees. We've had a hiring freeze on, and that's what we want to maintain for now. I think I've said it all. Thank you. Mr. Martin, we need you to identify yourself. I'm sorry? We need you to identify yourself. And Ed Martin, 22 kind of Pleasant Valley Road. Our <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, that's who I am. Uh, is that correct, John? Uh, it's uh, at the total savings of the hundred and fifty-eight thousand dollars. Of the total savings is three hundred and sixteen thousand. The hard savings number, Mr. Martin's asking the question. The literal amount of money that's coming out of the budget is one hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars. One hundred fifty-eight thousand one hundred dollars. What it does additionally, it addresses the requested need for an incremental. $158,000. I can't take the $158,000 to the bank. That's an incremental request, but we've eliminated the $158,000 that's currently in the budget. So that's the hard savings. Good question. Anyone else in the public will expand the public portion of this meeting so that we can be somewhat... Uh, but can I make a... Um, a uh, Mr. Iretti, can we just... And then I'll certainly recognize you. I won't be, I won't be long, but John... We don't have that 2.5 people now, do we? We're below staff at the present time? Currently, we are operating 2.25 below staff. So we're not spending any money on these people at all. They're in the budget, so you have to budget for those 2.25. Whether you spend it or you don't spend it. Well, that's where I'm budget. confused. We have money, 158000 whatever it is, sitting here, but we're not spending it at the present time. That's correct. All right, take it from there. Now enlighten me. You know, I went to the Wharton School for a while, but I'm, I'm, I'm confused here. 158,000 we're not spending is sitting there. What are you going to do with that 158,000? We're going to eliminate the 2.25 heads, and as a result of eliminating the 2.25 heads through consolidation, we're going to take out of that budget $158,100 hard savings. So we're going to reduce that budget by $158,100.